Hello, I'm Sean Denning, registered respiratory therapist with Care Medical, the manufacturer of SQL, AirSup, Care, and Helios oxygen devices. Today we're going to be talking about and featuring the Eclipse 5 portable oxygen system. Today we're going over the clinical capabilities of the Eclipse 5. These capabilities make a huge difference in the patient's life. First one is rise time, the second one we'll go over is pressure sensitivity, the third one autosat, and the fourth one will be the super boluses. First one we'll step back to the rise time. The importance of the rise time is actually the unique feature of the Eclipse 5 is we're able to change the flow to your patient, which means we need to deliver that oxygen in the first third of the breath, so we're able to guarantee that by, by changing the flow to the patient. And by doing that, if you look on the screen, that'll show up as BOL, that is the bolus. We have slow, medium, and fast. The fast delivery is more like a spike wave, a very quick delivery of oxygen. The medium will be more like a square wave, slower delivery but the same amount of bolus. And then our third one off the bolus is a slow, that basically mimics continuous flow oxygen. Same bolus size but a slower delivery time. The next is pressure sensitivity. The importance of that is we want our Eclipse 5 to trigger at every single breath. So we're able to adapt that to the patient's inspiratory effort. If we look on our screen, we designate that, designate that as a PS. So we have a pressure sensitivity of 1, 2, and 3. 1 being the most sensitive, 2 being average, and 3 being a little harder to trigger. The reason why we change that, again, we want to make sure the patient triggers the Eclipse 5 at every single breath. But if they auto trigger, we can make it a little more, a little more difficult to trigger the actual Eclipse 5. Next is AutoSat. AutoSat, the importance of that is as your patients are moving around with their activities of walking, riding on a treadmill, walking on a treadmill, riding on a bicycle, going to the store, any activity in their life, we want to make sure they keep saturated. So with AutoSat, what that's going to do is as the patient's respiratory rate increases, as we know they all do when they exercise, is the compressor will servo control, producing more oxygen, keeping it in the product tank, and what we're able to do is to deliver a stable bolus size and also a stable FiO2 to your patient at every breath. Meaning of that is that the patient keeps saturated at all activity levels. Another easy way to think about AutoSat is a car going up or down a hill with cruise control. As the car goes up, your engine speeds up. As you go down the hill, your engine will actually slow down, keeping you at that stable of 65 or 60 miles per hour. Our next capability is actually our super boluses. As you can see here on our screen, I'll bring that down all the way down to the basic, which is a setting of one at 16 mils. As we go up in our bolus sizes, you'll notice that the mills also increase. So besides going to six, our super boluses are 128 mils, a setting of seven, 160 mils, a setting of eight, and 192 mils, a setting of nine. Those are our super boluses. The importance of that is we can take care of the patients that are four, five, six, seven, sometimes even eight liters of continuous flow with our super boluses and keep them saturated above that 90 percentile. The last thing I want to talk about is our apnea backup. If you notice on our screen, we have a blinking light right by our wave. We're in the pulse mode, and the reason why it's blinking is it's actually converted back to continuous flow. The reason why that has done that is because it has not sensed a breath on the Eclipse 5. If the Eclipse 5 does not sense a breath, it will actually convert to that continuous flow mode that we preset into the Eclipse, and it will stay there for 15 seconds. And the reason why we picked the 15 seconds is it will actually save on battery time so the patient doesn't prematurely run out of battery, but also it will deliver the oxygen to the patient if they have fallen asleep or the cannula has moved. Thank you for watching today. If you have any more questions or any concerns, please call our technical support on the number below in the bottom of the screen.
Thank you.